Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for the official virtual tour of Lake Livingston State Park. Of course, you already knew that because it was in the title. I'm shooting this on two different cameras of the Insta360. So if you're not familiar with that, you can actually watch that video on your cell phone and look all around. You can do it on your laptop, your tablet, Oculus. You can turn, look behind me, look down, look all around and see everything that my single camera does not capture. And I'm... Well, why do we power off? saying I also have the GoPro Hero 11 that's got super sharp stabilization so let me gear up we're gonna be riding Sable the high-speed mobility scooter we're gonna visit the whole park we're gonna go through the whole park if you're only interested in seeing the campsites the camping loops you'll need to fast forward. Uh, the first loop we're going to visit is a pretty good haul. It's, uh, sites 97 through 100 something. And it's the most removed camping loop. And from there we will backtrack to the day use areas and finish up at the full connection. Livingston is an impound on the Trinity River. Don't be surprised if you encounter a gator or two. Road intersection. 
sites back here. I've, I've been very impressed with how level most of the sites are. On our previous visit to Lake Livingston State Park, this is the loop we camped on. Now it does back up to a residential neighborhood, but it was pretty quiet. These are 30 amp sites.
find the store. Over here so you can get a better perspective. So this is the parking lot for the store, fishing pier, marina, which is all down there. Boat ramp, number one. There are three boat ramps. trail heading back over to the loop we just scooted scooted through going camping. These are all tent sites. We have a bunch of them. We're gonna break the law. We're breaking the law. Breaking the law. Not sure why it's closed off, but this, this looks like a private public partnership with the the tenter set up. I've seen these tents on a couple of other Texas state parks. Facilities, the, the bathrooms and showers, they could stand some renovation. Coming up on boat ramp number two. This will give you another perspective of the store day use marina. Parking lot for the boat ramp right there. It's just parking spots. Picnic area. Nice hiking trail goes all the way over to the RV loops playground. We have kayak rentals. This is also parking for the beach. So that's the swim area down there. It's not a beach, it's just a swim area. There's a lot of accessible shoreline here.
warning flag for trouble. If you don't know what that means, you gotta go back in time and watch some of my other scooter videos. We're gonna come back, we're gonna finish up on that loop. That sign says one way, so we wanna go straight ahead. We're breaking the law. We're going the wrong way. slow down. Y'all want me to go slow on this part. It's a one-way loop, so we'll be looking into all of the sites. These are recently renovated. Thank you, TechSnot. These are all 30 amp. Howdy! Of course, it's Tuesday, so there's there's very few people camping out here on Tuesday. My favorite time to be in, the, in a Texas State Park is Sunday through Thursday. really like the way they stretched out that turn making it much easier for newbies newbie RVers to back in If we don't want to do that, you won't, up, you, you won't, won't, you don't. What am I trying to say? My mouth is getting cold. I know the sun is shining, but the wind chill is about like 30. All right. That's why y'all can see into the campsites. That's what I'm trying to say. These are all 30 amp. There are not any pull throughs at Lake Livingston State Park. So these may be 30, 50. I don't know. very level. The park is extremely well maintained. Howdy.
will next be moving through the full connection which is probably the best camping loop and it's not because of the full connection it's because well you'll see Show you this one. This is parking for some of the cabins, shelters, and the boat ramp. So that's shelters. Boat ramp number three. There's also fishing on the courtesy dock. Okay. Back to the tour. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I do too. All right, so we're going to whip through the parking area for the cabins and then hit that last loop. Most of the cabins are ADA accessible. Actually, they all are, but number 10 is probably the least accessible. Of course, Dude RV is in number three for this visit. These are 50, 30 with sewer and their water side. <clears throat> People always ask me to point out sites that I like. Well, these are great sites. How can you go wrong with a waterside campsite? Of course, right now it's the coldest place to camp because of that north wind coming off the water. the site right there. What, what number is that? Well, almost got to run over. That's site number 53.
We are done. Man, those are always so much fun. Thank you so much for riding along with me. If you're still with me at this point, tell me what part you enjoyed the best. What part of Lake Livingston State Park did you think was the coolest? If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. It really helps with that YouTube algorithm thing, so I can keep getting paid to make these videos for you. For those of you who have been following along, I cannot say thank you enough for your continued support and for my patrons. It touches my heart. Thank you for your generosity. You guys rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear? Before we get into this, hold on.